Talent Zach here. Today we're doing three simple transition techniques to throw into your video to bump up the style. The three transitions that we're touching on today are the circle wipe, the square wipe, and the swipe wipe. I just made those titles up. The, the, the swipe wipe, I guess, doesn't really... It sounds kind of weird now that, I, now that I said it out loud. There's a lot of wipes. Yep. All right, so let's hop into our editing software. Uh, my being Premiere Pro CC. So we're in here in Premiere Pro. Uh, the first shot that we're doing is this like drone aerial shot. And again, we're doing that circle transition. And we're going to go from this shot into this shot very, very simply. First thing that you want to do is make sure your top shot or your first shot goes over top of your second shot by about maybe 10 to 24 frames. So let's drag it up here. Burp, 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 burp. I've got mine up 11 frames above over top of this shot. Go into your effects, type in circle. It's going to go under your generate folder and then you're going to drag and drop that over top of your footage. The first thing that you're going to see is this white circle in the middle of your shot. Have no fear, we will fix that. Okay. Go into your circle presets down here. In effect, into your effects column, go onto your circle presets. Go into here, which is invert circle. Click that. That is going to make a massive white circle. It's going to make a tiny image circle with a massive white thing around there. And that is, that is not what you want. You don't want that. So go into blend mode, which is the very bottom. Type in stencil alpha and kablamo. Now we have our top shot playing out over top of our bottom shot. Now the next thing is animating that mofo. So go down over to radius. You want to go to the very beginning of where that effect goes in. Click your stopwatch at radius. Move over and type in zero. And now where does where'd the circle go? It's gone. It's coming back. Trust me. Move up 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that you're up your 10 frames, you're going to massive that you're going to massive it. I don't know what massive means, but you're going to make the circle much larger. And if you look into our frame here, it's it's massivizing into our shot below. And depending on the, 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 the resolution that you're working off of, the size of the circle is going to change. So just expand it to as far as it covers up the screen. So mine's at 2,000 and... Where does it start to cover the whole thing? 2,143. So now if we play back this video clip... Zoop, we have our circle come into the shot below. And if maybe that circle goes maybe a little too slow for you, that's totally cool. What we can do is now that we have these keyframe markers, we can actually just slide it to the left or right to speed it up or slow it down. So I'm going to make it super fast, maybe make it last for even like two frames. Holy geez. Press play. Wow, that was super quick and it got us into the next shot very easily. Do you see what I did? I circle wiped into this part now. Isn't that so funny? The second transition that we're going to be doing is the square wipe, which is, um, it's pretty cool. I, 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 I don't really use this often, but it is a really interesting one. So what you want to do is have your second shot play over top of your first shot yet again. So let's, let's, let's find our footagio here. It's this wide shot of the car winding around the bend here. So what we're going to do is actually grab that shot. We're going to duplicate it, then bring the beginning part of that clip over top of the shot here. So we go from this to this. Now what we're going to do is create a square mat around our over top layer, which is all you have to do is go into is opacity, square out, and now we have this square of the road. And that's basically all you're going to do. Now if we go to the beginning, we're going to see that pop up. Essentially what these, these mats do quickly is they add a bit of a feathering to the edge. The only thing that I would recommend you doing is take the feather and bring it right down to zero. So now if we go in and we press play, we get this. Do you see that? And, and maybe it doesn't last that long, so maybe we need to make it a little bit longer. Let's drag it out a little bit longer into our first clip, and if we press play you get something that looks like that. Maybe that's not interesting enough for you because you're like, oh, I want something a little bit more crazy because you're a crazy person. I see that in your eyes. What you want to do is go up two frames and make an incision point, And then with the second half of this mat here, maybe scale it up a bit. Maybe scale the whole clip up. I don't know. Maybe is that a little too crazy? Before we finish this, what you're going to do is go in and go to the tail end of that clip, delete it here, kablamo. And now if we play it, you get something like that. It's like a cool little square glitch zoom in. I don't know. Use it if you want. Don't use it if you don't like it. 
The third one you will like. I know, because I know you now. We're friends. We're on the same level. We're buds. The final transition is this, the swipe wipe. I don't know. I feel like that's some sort of infomercial like product, like introducing the swipe wipe. You swipe it and you wipe it. You wipe it left, you swipe it right. So we are going to swipe wipe from this wide drone shot of the road to this close-up shot of the car driving. So if you can see it play out, I don't live in a bad neighborhood, just to let you know. There's just cop cars driving around all the time. I think it's to set an ambience to the surroundings to make you feel like you're more in a cinematic mood. Okay, the swipe wipe. Going to... There is a lot of... There's a lot of... I'm just going to talk over top of the, the sirens and the helicopters. It makes it seem a lot cooler. So go in File, New. Go into Color Mat. Click onto your color mat. You're gonna press OK here. We're gonna change it to white. Kablamo. Press OK. You've got the color mat that pops up into your footage bin right here. We're gonna drag and drop it and put it over top of our timeline. Now again, with all other, like all the other effects and tech. Oh my God! It is so loud. There's helicopters. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we have our color mat going over top of our two shots. So this DJI drone shot and 0043. What we're gonna do is make sure it just plays out over the top for a couple frames on either side. I'm gonna just trim it there on either side and here we go. Super boring, right? Let's keep playing with it. So the first thing that you're gonna go into is your scale. And what you wanna do with your scale is then click uniform scale. That's going to release either your width and your height so now that you can adjust them either or. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually scale my height up to about 188. Then, that basically just expands it so far out that I have nice wiggle room on the top and bottom. The next thing that I'm gonna do is change the width into a nice thin line. So I'm gonna change it to around seven. Now I can move it left or right with my position to create this kind of wipe. So you can even put that line on a bit of a dutch and we can make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go in here, let's go into rotation, let's make that bar on a bit of a side bit like that. Look how fancy it looks. It looks like you're watching NASCAR now. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is now animate that line so it slides over. Beep, 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 beep. So slide it all the way to the left of the frame. We're gonna press this stopwatch ticky move thing here. Kaboom. Move up a couple frames, let's move it up until we see into the next shot. We're now going to slide that line from left to right using your position and keyframes. So slide it the whole way across until it gets to the other side. Boom. Now that it slides, let's watch. You get that wipe that plays across. Now the wipe doesn't happen directly within the middle of the frame, so you might have to adjust it by sliding the clip to the left or to the right. I'm gonna slide mine to the right a couple frames, maybe by two frames. Because you want your swipe to happen within the middle of the two shots. It is so bright. I'm gonna do that. You want the shot to transition within the the, the two. I said it before, you get it. But maybe you're a crazy person. I, I know you, you're crazy. You wanna have two swiping bars. Well, that's super easy. What you wanna do is duplicate this shot by dragging it up like that. Boom, we've duplicated it. And I'm just going to actually move this to the left by three frames. And now we have two crazy lines flying in if we press play. Those are three super duper simple transitions to add into your project to make it look a little bit more interesting, a little bit cooler. If you liked that tutorial, there are many others on my channel. If you like me even that much, it would be great to give me a subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week for more videos. Okay, I'm going to now enjoy the sun and enjoy this bright beaming blast of in my face sun.